Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. To make India an advanced economy, the importance of infrastructure can never be ignored. In India's bid to achieve 5 trillion economy, the government needs to maintain the regional balance as far as development is concerned. On that note, in this video we will analyze the upcoming mega projects in the state of Jharkhand. Before that, if you're new to this channel, I would request you to please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to smash the like button and press the bell icon positively. Jharkhand meaning the land of forest is a state in eastern India. The state shares its border with the states of Bihar to the north, Uttar Pradesh to the northwest, Chhattisgarh to the west, Odisha to the south and West Bengal to the east. It has an area of 79710 km square. It is the fifth largest state by area and the 14th largest by population. Hindi is the official language of the state. The city of Rachi is its capital and Dumka its sub capital. The state is known for its waterfalls, hills and holy places. Baidanath Dham, Parasnath and Rajarappa are major religious sites. The state was formed in 2000 from the territory that had previously been part of Bihar. Jharkhand suffers from what is sometimes termed as a resource curse. It accounts for more than 40% of the mineral resources of India, but 39.1% of its population is below the poverty line and 19.6% of children under 5 years of age are malnourished. Jharkhand is primarily rural with about 24% of its population living in cities. The dynamics of resources and the politics of development still influence the socio-economic structures in Jharkhand, which was carved out of the relatively underdeveloped southern part of Bihar. According to the 1991 census, the state has a population of over 20 million, out of which 28% is tribal, while 12% of the people belong to scheduled caste. Jharkhand has 24 districts, 260 blocks, and 32,620 villages, out of which only 45% have access to electricity, while only 8,484 are connected by roads. Large deposits of coal and iron ore support concentration of industry in centers like Jamshedpur, Dhanbad, Bokaro and Rachi. Tata Steel, a conglomerate, has its corporate office and main plant in Tata Nagar, which is in Jharkhand. It reported a gross income of rupees 2 lakh 4910 million in 2005. NTPC started its coal production from its captive mine in state in 2011 and 12 for which the company invested around 18 billion rupees. Now that we have understood various fascinating facts about Jharkhand, let us tap into the top 5 mega projects coming up in the state of Jharkhand without any further ado. To make it more interesting, we'll move in the descending order depending on the nature of project. The mega project which holds the fifth position is the Deoghar Airport expansion. Kunda Airport Deoghar has been proposed to develop as a commercial airport based on an existing airstrip in Kunda. Airports Authority of India proposed to upgrade the airport at a cost of INR 400 crore. The main purpose of the expansion is the non-military use of A320 category aircraft from Kunda Airport. The upgrade includes as follows: an extension of the existing runway to 2500 meter long and 45 meter wide construction of a 4000 square meter terminal building a mobile air traffic control apron with parking capacity for two A320 aircraft taxiways and an isolation bay the terminal building with six check-in counters peak hour handling capacity for 200 passengers two baggage arrival conveyor belts and solar power plant The current 53.41 acre airport will be expanded to a 654.10 acre full-fledged facility for air travel. The Jharkhand government and AAI will contribute 50 crore each for the project, while the DRDO will contribute 200 crores. Excluding the existing 53.41 acre land, the remaining 600 acre land will be given to the AAI on a lease for 30 years for rupees one per year. The Jharkhand government has already transferred 635 acres of the land to AAI. The state acquired 437.70 acre land for this purpose and a sum of rupees 426.66 crore has been given as compensation to land owners. As Deoghar is situated in the northeastern side of the state, hence the airport will have a wide catchment area including northern west Bengal and southeastern Bihar. 
Talking about the completion time of the project, India's former Minister of State for Civil Aviation Hardeep Singh Puri announced that Kunda Deoghar Airport will be completed and commissioned before the end of 2021, as it already got delayed due to the ongoing pandemic. Moving to the fourth mega project in the list is the extravagant Sahib Ganj Manihari Bridge. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi approved the construction of a new link between Sahib Ganj Bypass in Jharkhand to Manihari Bypass in Bihar including a four lane bridge on River Ganga in the year 2015 the cost is estimated to be 1954.77 crore including cost of land acquisition resettlement and rehabilitation and other pre construction activities The total length of the road to be developed is approximately 22 kilometers. The cost is estimated to be 1954.77 crore including cost of land acquisition, resettlement and rehabilitation and other pre-construction activities. The total length of the road to be developed is approximately 22 kilometers. The job will be executed in hybrid annuity mode the Ministry of Road Transport and Highway said adding that the concession period is 19 years including a construction period of 4 years the new link road will be approximately 16 km long starting from Sahibganj pass in Jharkhand to another 6 km stretch near Narainpur junction of NH 133B and NH 131A on Manihari bypass in Bihar this stretch includes a four lane bridge on the river ganga The project will help expedite improvement of infrastructure in Bihar and Jharkhand and also reduce the time and cost of travel in these states. The development of this stretch is also expected to help uplift socio-economic conditions of people of this region in the state. Speaking about the completion date of the project, it is expected to be before 2024. The mega project which sits comfortably in the third position is the plastic park. The project would be set up at a cost of rupees 120 crores in an area of 150 acres and a range of polymer products including woven sacks, molded furniture, water tanks, bottles, pipe, mosquito nets, etc would be manufactured. It has great potential for attracting investment for setting up an ecosystem for plastic industry and generate employment opportunities for the local population for sure. The project is likely to provide direct employment generation to about 6000 people and indirect employment to over 30000 people the state government of jharkhand facilitated land infrastructure to set up a central institute for plastic engineering and technology alongside the plastic park so that invaluable human resource may be trained here to become plastic engineers and technicians this human resource is of vital importance as the plastic industry is growing at a rapid pace and the polymer consumption in india would double from the current 10 million metric tons to 20 million metric tons by 2022 the setting up of 3.5 crore plastic recycling unit at deoghar will tackle the menace of plastic waste being generated due to the place being a tourist attraction deoghar receives over 5 crore tourists per year leading to generation of a lot of plastic waste this waste needs to be recycled scientifically to contain the plastic waste generation and ensure sustainable development hence the plastic recycling unit would be of huge importance the mega project which bags the second position is the interstate bus terminal in dhanbad Due to rapid urbanization of Dhanbad has triggered increasing mobility high travel demand increasing congestion delays accidents and etc therefore an appropriate sustainable transport system is required to overcome the aforesaid issues JUI DCO has proposed to develop modern interstate bus terminal in order to address the high urbanization trend rapidly growing urban transport related issues witnessed in Dhanbad in Jharkhand Government of Jharkhand has already identified a land parcel for construction of interstate bus terminal in Punduki village on GT road. The ISBT site lies on GT road in Punduki village. Total area of the site is about 12.80 acres. Of the total 12.80 acres, about 1.07 acres of private land parcels need to acquire and balance to government land. The project is under construction currently. Shifting our focus to the mega project which steals the first position is the iconic urban civic tower. Rachi will boast a multi-purpose urban civic tower of international standards in the times to come. Modeled along the lines of Trinity Towers in Gurgaon, work on the rupees 191 crore 16 story structure has begun in Dhurwa more than a year after the foundation stone was laid by Vice President Venkaiah Naidu in September 2017. 
Construction of the project began a bit late owing to land acquisition issues and difficulty in leveling the ground full of rocky stones. However, the issue has been resolved and construction work has begun in right earnest by Shapurji Palunji Group and will be completed within a 2 year deadline. The tower will have a basement parking spread over 25,997 square meter and capable of accommodating over 470 cars. The total area of the tower will be nearly 45,464 square meter. The urban tower will have CCTV cameras installed at all strategic points, audio-visual conference room in every floor, proper facility for board meetings, big seminar halls, cafe and restaurants. Commercial space will be available for shops, offices and other establishments. The pace of the project is slow but it is set to be inaugurated in a year or two. Please like, share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various mega projects which are all set to come up across the length and breadth of the country in the times to come. Signing off with the promise that coming up next is the magnificent state of Haryana. Plenty of interesting projects are in the pipeline as we explore in the next video. Thank you for watching.